Hello, today we're going to cover ZenMap. So for this demo, we're going to use ZenMap to perform a targeted IP subnetwork intent scan, which will identify what hosts are available on the network, what services such as application name and versions that hosts are offering, what operating systems and operating system versions they are running, and lastly, what type of packet filters or firewalls are in use. So to start, Let's click on the ZenMap GUI. I want to mention real quick uh, the difference between ZenMap and NMap. It's actually the same thing. NMap is the one you would use for on a command line interface by typing in the command. ZenMap is the GUI version, and so you don't need to type any commands. Uh, it's already predefined. And I'll explain about that in just a second. But first, let's look at this target. This is where you enter in the IP address of your target, of who you want to scan. So we will use this IP address, 172.30.0.0 slash 24. Real quick, I just want to explain what the slash 24 means. This is your subnet mask, or you can call it the octet of interest. All right, so this octet of interest represents this third field known as the third octet. So in a IPv4 address, there's 32 bits. Eight bits here, eight bits here, eight bits here, eight bits here. Total of 32. And this is the first octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. So this slash 24 represents that this octet, third octet. Now then, let's look at the profile. As you can see, the profile has many different scans. You have your intent scan, your ping scan, your quick scan, and your regular scan, and so much more. A lot of options. Notice, if I pick a ping scan, the command that's currently set is going to change, as you can see. The minus SN represents the ping scan. Let's change it to regular. Notice, in a regular scan, it's just nmap, the IP address, and the forward slash 24. Let's go to intent scan. And notice, the command changed to minus T4 space minus capital A space minus V IP address slash 24. Again, the commands are already predefined. You simply choose the profile for the scan that you want, and it will define it for you here in the command. So let's go ahead and initiate a intent scan. Just to let you know that this process usually takes three to five minutes to complete. And the reason for that is an intent scan isn't just a single scan. It's actually a collection of individual, uh, several individual tests. And because of that, it takes a little bit longer but it's going to give you a lot of information. We'll definitely take a look at the nmap output, which is going to be the raw output data. Then we'll take a look at the ports and hosts, which is the IP host and open ports. Next, we'll look at the topology. We will use the fisheye bubble chart of IP address. And basically, that will just show you exactly what your network would look like. Again, network topology, an image of what your uh, what your network will look like. Next, we have the host details, which is the IP host OS fingerprint details. It'll show you uh, the operating system that this uh, host is currently using, how many ports are open, and just a bunch of information. And we'll go over that as well too. And lastly, the scan tab, scans tab, which is the completed scans performed. So the more scans you do, the more will show up in there. But since we're only doing intent scan, it'll only show intent scan. All right, we're just going to give it some time. Uh, once this is done, we will review it and uh, give you all the information you need. All right, our scan is complete. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So again, in the nmap output tab, we have our raw output data.
It can be very confusing at first when you're looking at it and you don't know what's going on. But I will show you how you can find the information that you need. Again, notice here that you have um, discovered open ports. It lists a bunch. Here you have the 172.30.0.1 uh, scan results. These are the ports that are open. Um, you have your 22, port 22. Currently state it's open. The service is the secure shell, the version, port 23, which is the telnet, port 111, which is RPC bind. And like I said, it's just a lot of information. But let me show you uh, what you can do. For example, let's say you're interested in this host. Let's click on it. And then it will navigate directly to that particular host in the Nmap output. Let's say I want to go to 172.30.02. So all of this right here relates to that IP. All right, let's click on the next one. OK, this is scan results for the 172.30.0.7. Have your ports, your ports. This is the 172.30.0.10.11. Okay, but yeah, it's a lot of information. And uh, what can we do? What if we only want to look at what ports are open and closed for a particular IP? And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to look at the port slash host uh, tab. So when you click this tab, you can see uh, very clearly which ports are open by the columns that they provide, such as the ports column, protocol uh, column, state column, service, and version. So simply just go through your host list here, and you can see the information on the ports and hosts. So look at the topology. So here we have your network topology. That gives you an image of what your network uh, looks like. Using the control feature here, let's go ahead and let's make this bigger so we can see what's going on. And let's make this gap bigger too. Spread it out. So here you have your uh, network topology. At your local host, and you have all these networks associated with it. Why might this be useful to an attacker? If attacker knows what ports you have that are open, telnet, SSH, RPC bind, knowing that and having your uh, a network topology of how your network is built. It's very easy for him to figure out how to um, go into your computer and access your data, modify it, or even delete it. You know, he can even he can do a lot of things. And so, it's important that you scan your computer, know what services and ports you have on, and close the ones that you don't need to prevent uh, that from happening. So this information, again, is very useful to an attacker. The more information he has about your computer, your network, the easier it is for him to mount the attack. Here we have the host details. Host details, it tells uh, you that uh, the state's up, how many ports are open, uh, filter ports, closed ports, scan ports. So look, it scanned 1,000 ports. It determined that 997 were closed. However, three were open. All right, here it has your IPv4 address, 
your IPv6 is not uh, specified, your MAC address, your, this is your physical address, and then the operating system that uh, this host is using. So this, this information right here, an attacker could use that too. Knowing what type of operating systems you have, he could um, find out the vulnerabilities or the bugs or issues relating to that operating system. Again, using what ports you have available, what services you have, and he could exploit it and then perhaps uh, insert a malicious code or a virus into your computer and just destroy it. So that's what this tool can do. Basically just gather all this information, using this information to mount an attack. Notice on this one, the 172.30.0.10. Notice the operating system right here, Windows, Microsoft Windows 7 or Windows Server 2012. So it's different for each, see, Linux. All right, let's check out the uh, last tab, scans. As I said, uh, this is like basically your history of what you, uh, what type of scans you use. So if you used uh, a ping scan next, it'll uh, it'll show ping scan next. And you can save these, uh, you can save these scans as well too. Uh, simply, I believe you just go to right here, save scans, and then yeah, you can save it. Maybe for your record or for whatever purposes, but they have that option. Well, thank you for watching. I, I just wanted to show you uh, the power of ZenMap. Very cool tool. It's free, so you could download it and try it for yourself. I recommend it. Um, that's all I have. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you uh, learned something. Thank you.